tapered thing. Alright, that's what it looks like it's installed. Now, today I'm going to do a crack repair on a 300 Ford head. I'm going to use some uh, fluid weld and this special tapered pin. I'll show you the process of what I do to repair a crack in my shop. I'm on a 300 Ford head here and I was just done magnafluxing it. There's a dang crack right on that seat. I'll show you what I do to repair this thing. So I got a center punch and a hammer. I got a little carbide burr on a die grinder. Now I got a drill bit. Time to drill a hole. Now I got a tap with some liquid courage on it. Then I got some fluid weld and a tapered pin. Right, I got the fluid weld on the tapered pin. Now time to put it in. All right, that's what it looks like with the pin installed. Now it's time to cut it off. All right, time for the second pin. All right, there's the second hole, and I kind of uh, Siamese these together, so they're pretty much stitched together. So now it's time to tap it. All right, I got the tap with a little bit of liquid on it. I have a big carbide burr, now I'm gonna just grind away at this thing. All right, this is what it looks like after the crack repair is all finished up. And then tomorrow, be throwing a set of hardened exhaust seats in this cylinder head. Hey, so I've done a lot of crack repairs just like this cylinder head over the years, a truckload of them. A lot of Vortec heads, a lot of 5.9 Magnum heads, uh, 4 liter 4 heads, uh, quite a bit of blocks too. I do, I've done a lot of small block Chevy blocks. They, they crack sometimes on the outside. Just real minor repairs, nothing nothing crazy. Uh, I used to work for this other guy. He'd have you crack repair just junk and it, would, it wouldn't be cost effective. I don't know why he would do it. But uh, in my shop, I just, I do what's, uh, you know, it's worth my time. If it's something super big, I just get another block. Uh, or if it's in some stress area where it's not going to work, it doesn't get pushed through the shop. I'll just get a different core. Um, but something like this is real solid. Um, I'm going to be putting a set of hardened exhaust seats in this cylinder head. Uh, you guys should come back for part two of the video because I'll be doing that. Uh, giving it a three-angle valve job, surfacing the head. This uh, cylinder head's getting a whole set of valves, new springs. Um, it's going to uh, be awesome for the guys. So if you guys enjoy this, uh, come back again, and I'll see you in the next one.